Hello, it's Wednesday, March 16th. It's kind of warm out here. I had to turn on my air conditioner. Yeah, okay, I'm a smart ass. Uh, so uh, today is a uh, gas burner barbecue day. And uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm making adapters and whatnot. This is the, the large uh, burner for our really huge frying pans that we have for cooking paella. And I got to make the adapter to connect this to this with quick disconnect. It used to have a different connection on it, which I don't even know where I left that, where it would connect right to the hose with the regulator on it and go right to a barbecue tank. But we're not gonna have barbecue tanks. We're gonna have the tank on the bus and that's the supply for that. So I've got this thing figured out. I put a 90 on here. This is one half inch pipe thread. And I got this um, half inch, the three eighths nipple. And this is the fittings that I'm using. They're three eighths and they have like a really large opening in them. Three eighths to three eighths quick disconnect. So um, I got that figured out. I just got to assemble it. I ordered some more of these from Amazon just a little bit ago. Um, so I, I've only got this one and that's gonna go on this paella pan or the other thing. So the other thing is my little barbecue that I have this little jewel you can get those for like 110 bucks it's they're really pretty cheap I mean uh, they look a lot better when they're new it's all stainless steel construction and I've got the, the grill and the heat deflector thing sitting over here to the right the sparky thing still works I mean it's, it's in good good enough shape anyway that I'm gonna bring it with me the little adapter thingy uh, that used to be on here would go to those little portable propane bottles like with those two pounders or whatever uh, those things right there and I can't find it so I did some searching and on Amazon I found this kit right here which is this valve that had this thread which I eyeballed and sure enough that screws right into the grill it's got this nice little handle on it and, and it has this this is a quarter inch quick disconnect which it's not the same as what I'm using so um, let me show you how this thing goes on the on the grill here. It just screws in there. I'm gonna redo this bracket right here and permanently install this onto here with a little L bracket instead of this existing bracket. The knob will be on the top side, which will make it easy. Uh, so right here, what I want is a 90 and then to connect to uh, that 3 8 to 3 8 I just showed you a minute ago. And uh, so when I bought this, I mean, this looked like it was gonna be one quarter pipe, but when I take it off, it's not even a pipe thread. This is a 7 16 20, which is NF, National Fine, or just fine thread, 7 16 bolt thread, straight. And this was installed with Loctite to seal it. So yeah, that was kind of tough to get off. So there isn't gonna be any kind of a adapter fitting that I can buy, so I'm gonna make my own. What I was looking for was a 3 8 to 1 8 bushing so I could drill the 1 8 inch pipe open and thread it to 7 16 straight, pipe, uh, straight thread and then screw it on there and Loctite it on there but I don't have one. The closest I have is a plug that's 3 8 pipe. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drill this out, thread it to 7 16 and this is gonna be my 90, and then on the end of that will be that little guy. I guess I should go over there and size up everything and make sure that there's enough space without hitting the ground. Let me go do that right now. Yeah, it's, I'll save you the pain of me trying to hold the camera and all that, but uh, it's going to be perfect length. 
So uh, all we gotta do is drill this thing out and thread it. And that might actually be the right thread hole size right there. I know these caps, they don't have much thickness um, in this end here. So if this hole size isn't conducive to threading, oh uh, yes, it'll be perfect. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I think the right thing to do here would be just chuck this up in the lathe, bore it out, and tap it. It'd be a real simple little job. And then we'll be all set. Well, that was a piece of cake. It, uh, you know, done deal. I mean, it's... My other option was to machine this down to make this a 1 8 inch pipe on the outside diameter and use a real 8 inch fitting here, 8 inch to 3 8 bushing, but uh, I thought that'd be a little on the small side and not leave too much being susceptible to taking a hit and break. So I'll show you how I did this. This was really nothing to it. Oh, I, I already took it out of the, the lathe, sorry. Uh, I took this fitting and I chucked this up in the lathe like that and screwed this into it. And then that's just to held this in place straight because I, I couldn't get it chucked up and straight by gripping it on just these little ends with the threaded part in. I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. There was nothing to grab on out here. So um, that worked perfect. So now what I'll do is I'll get some of the high strength. That's what was on there was a the high strength red Loctite and I'll, put that on there and tighten it up and, and you're talking about no more than 10 psi you know 5 to 10 psi pressure in propane even if it does leak it's just going to be the tiniest of little leak right so I'm not worried about that in the least so um, yeah this fits on there and then this fits on the other end of that and it's going to be perfect so the next thing I got to do I got to take this off and get a piece of angle up. It'd be nice if I could find some stainless steel, little remnant of something that I could make a piece of angle. And uh, I'll show you what I mean. So this guy is gonna be sitting there like that. And what I'd like to do is have a little piece of angle come down and over and I think I've got some stainless steel pop rivets. If not, I could use some stainless steel nuts and bolts and screw the bracket to this and it'll hold this nice and rigid. This thing here don't look like much, but you know, it's, it's pretty strong. It can take a hit. Um, I mean, ideally you would want to take this off every time you put it away and put it inside or something. I just don't want to deal with that. And the, the, it screws directly into the burner too. And the end of that burner is pretty, pretty stout. So all together, I'm not, uh, not at all concerned about strength. I just wanna do the best I can. When you, when you tighten this nut down all the way, this still swivels. It's not a perfect seal because it doesn't need to be. Um, there's like almost no pressure past this valve. That's where the orifice is. That's the actual orifice right there. So the other side of that orifice is actually a vacuum um, because it's sucking air in right there on the side. So uh, this doesn't have, where'd you go? There you go. This doesn't have a seal in it, just that little black steel snap ring right there so the nut doesn't come off. So yeah, there you go, man. Uh, we're on the home run. All right, well, that's done. Gonna have to check it to see if it works. Uh, I mean, it's uh, pretty rigid. I mean, it's kind of like hanging in there on the everything and the knob works just like you would want it to. The igniter still works. So um, I gassed up the propane tank today. So theoretically, this thing should work. Well, it works, it's on, but we're not getting much flow. I don't know if we got a pressure regulator problem or maybe that jet is just not big enough. 
I mean, it's on, but I would like it to be a lot hotter than that. I, don't know, I guess it's. Yeah, I would like a little bit more flame out of that thing. Can't even see it. I know it's on because it's freaking hot as hell. It's like it's on low. And then when I turn it down there, that's really low. It's basically almost off. Alright, we're going to have to try this on something else. The Paella burner would be the real test. Uh, we just might not be getting enough pressure. This is an adjustable regulator here. And uh, should be the same pressure for this as everything else. I'm fully open here. Because uh, I use the same regulator on my barbecue grill as I do my kitchen range in the house. So it's all the same stuff. I just, I don't have a pressure gauge that goes low enough to measure that pressure. The best I'll be able to do is like put my finger over it and guesstimate what it is, but that's not really cutting it down there. I mean, you could cook a burger on that thing, but. All right, let's do some more tests. All right, so you just gotta be smarter than what you're working with. That was, that's low back there when I turn it up there now it's kicking pretty hot I can't even get close to it so I guess it's about right let's try the kitchen range oh, there we go so uh, that's full blast and that's that's pretty hot it's almost turning red back there those little tips are turning red. I guess, I guess this is all right. I don't know. It's just, a, it's just a little bit. Just a little bit low. I drilled out the jet. That's why it's got a little bit of an orange on it. Because uh, it seemed like the jet was create too much velocity and it was blowing the flame out I probably should have only went one size on the drill but I went two when that when you put it on low it's got a decent little flame yeah that's hot I would like just a little bit more though dang it all right so there's my paella cooker I mean it's just a little bit less than what I'd like it to be. I think it'll work like it is. Let me go get the missus and have her take a look at that. So the, the stove is like a regular old kitchen stove, man. So, I mean, that's fine. Can't ask for more than that, can you? I haven't tried the the oven. There's still a bunch of paper and shit in there. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna take all these things out. All right. Well, that just fires right off, man. So, what I think I learned about this is that as soon as you get it lit for the first time, yeah, you can see the fire down there. It lights a pilot light. And then every time the thermostat kicks on and off, it uses the pilot light. <laughs> so that works. You know, I haven't tried the broiler yet. That's electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. I guess that's... That's broil right there. Oh yeah, it's turning. It's a thousand watt element. 
So we're like on the verge of our inverter's capability. Wow, what was that? Something made it. And it's going. I think that would get red really quick, but it ain't. This is the first time I've turned on the broiler. Let me check what Victron is telling me is going on with the amps. Right, it's starting to turn red now. We're at pulling 1300 watts at the inverter. So we got the refrigerators running. This guy is on and the front air conditioner is kind of just at idle right now, but it's on. So, hey, you can broil something with that. Look at that thing go, man. All right, I see enough. Let me turn that off.